Hi everyone, welcome to my next in a series of PC tips and tricks. Uh, this one is a little utility that's rebuilt into Windows, Windows 10 and 11. Um, it's called Winget. Uh, and it's basically a little tool that allows you to update all your applications in one go. Uh, upgrade them to the latest version. Um, it'll do not just um, the, you know, the built-in Windows and Microsoft apps, it'll do third-party ones as well. But yeah, really handy, much quicker than doing anything manually. So we'll start by opening a command prompt. So just click on search, find command prompt, and then run as administrator. That's very important. You'll get in the prompt to elevate, click yes. Opens up the command prompt here and just type in win get space upgrade. This will go and check the apps you've got, show you the version you got installed, which you can see in the first column, uh, and then the available version, which is the latest available you can find online, in the next column. Um, so you can see it's got quite a few there. I mean, this is a fairly new, newly built PC, so there's not loads on it. So now we do uh, win get upgrade again, but this time dash dash all. Uh, obviously, you can. Rather than all, you can pick the apps to, to upgrade by, by name, but we're doing it all. That's, that's the quick tip here, just to upgrade everything in one go. So as you can see, it's now gone off. It's doing the first one, VLC. It's downloading the latest version, going from 3.0.17 to 3.0.18. Um, all pretty, you know, all fully automated. It, go now, downloads the app. Uh, the upload file, sorry, the upgrade file. Uh, and then once it's downloaded, it will do effectively a silent install and away you go. So th this Winget is kind of, it's built into Windows, it's kind of the package manager that's, that's built in to, to handle you know, installing and uninstalling apps etc. Normally you, you drive it through the GUI um, installing or uh, uninstalling or upgrading or repairing your applications but this is kind of the command, command line variant. So it's going to go through now the couple of apps I've got and it's got six that it's found that it can upgrade. Um, so far, I found it, it works with, with with most things, and um, there's a couple that it doesn't work with. The one that just failed on there is, is Pulseway. That's a kind of a, a monitoring agent that I use um, on, on here. So it's failed for some reason. So I have a look into that, but I mean that could be you know, purely down to security. The fact that it, you know because it's a monitoring tool, it, it won't allow you to silently try and upgrade it in the background. Um, so I'll have a look at that one, and then yeah, the others are going through fairly standard Microsoft.net. Updates. So what I'll quickly do here, just quickly fast forward the video, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll come back when it's when it's finished. So there you go, it's finished. Run, run through all those, and what we'll do now is just do, rather than coming out, I'll do a quick upgrade, we can get upgrade again, and it'll just check, see what the current status is. So it's still saying there's two available, so it's done the other four, and this is, I kind of expected this, the, this, the Pulseway one, like I say, is one that's that's not upgrading for some reason. Um, and then, so I'll check that one. I'm gonna try again here quickly, see if it makes any difference. Um, and then the Dell Display Manager, Obviously, I've recorded this first in the voiceover afterwards, and I, I did go back after this, check the Dell Display Manager, and the reason it's doing, it keeps trying to, trying to do it is that version 2 is not actually an upgrade to the previous version, it's kind of a, a new, completely new program. You can see here, just checking the version I've got installed, so I've got, um, I think it's version 1. Point, yeah, 1. 1.56, and so what, it, what it's actually done, it's installed version 2 for me, but because it's a completely new program, it's not an upgrade. It's now got version one and version two installed at the same time. So Winget's still seeing version one and prompting to upgrade, but it has already installed version two. So after I, after I did this, I just manually went into control panel, found the app and uninstalled version one and, and sorted that out. Um, and like I said, the Pulseway one, I did check that and that is is, is running version nine. So it, it either is already upgraded or for some reason it's picking up an older version. So. Well, like I said, not to worry about that. I think you know, the other things work really well. So updating the .NET stuff, that worked really well. Um, and on screen here, you can just see, um, I did have a quick look in the quick log file 
or the reason why one of them wasn't installing it, it had needed .NET 5 installed. So I just go ahead now and install .NET 5 to, to fix that. But yeah, that's that's Winget. Like I say, it's you know rather than going and installing stuff manually, it, it's much easier to go go to a command prompt, type upgrade, and then do its stuff. So yeah, that's the next little tip. Um, hope you enjoyed. It. Hope you found it useful. It might, hopefully, it's one that you may not have known before. It's only one that I didn't aware of until I found out about recently. So thought I'd share it. Uh, so yeah, uh, enjoy. Uh, that's it for this one. Um, obviously you can see on screen I'm, I'm still playing around <laughs> trying to work that out but yeah no we can get upgrade dash dash all that's all you need to know um, so yeah thanks for watching enjoy and I'll, uh, I'll catch you in the next video